water from the Tamra Bharani River had arrived at the Sri Matam. Prasadam from Tiruvarur had come. The Jagat Guru accepted this prasadam. The morning puja had just gotten over and it was already 3 pm without a care for his own meal, his big share. The Jagat Guru decided to first come to the Adishthanam and perform the Jalabhishekam, ablution with the waters of the sacred Tamra Bharani river to Adi Shankara, Mahapariva, and Sri Periva. With Jupiter's transition into Scorpio, the waters of this river have been made more sacred. Mahapariva spent a lot of time by this river doing his tapas, his anushthanams. All along the banks of the river, there are about 149 paritures, places, steps created by our ancestors where locals could go down from the villages and have a snanam, offer prayers to the river and return home every day. This veneration made the river more pure and gave us life-giving water which made the area most fertile and prosperous. These very waters are now being offered as ablution to Mahapariva. Jagat Guru Sri Periva had also done tapas, not just on the banks of the river, but right in the middle of it. It was at this very place, at Tirupudai Maradur, that Periva sat in the middle of the river to do his japam. Padukas of Sri Periva have hardly ever been worn. He chose to stride all across Bharat Desham barefoot.
Jagat Guru could not go to the river this time, but the river came to him. During Navaratri, various homas were conducted at the Sri Matam, the Rigveda Homa, the Chandi Homa. First, these waters from the Homa were offered to Periva. A thick crowd of devotees stood on three sides to watch. Periva sat facing his Guru and his Parama Guru in the Adhishthanam. The cool and fragrant waters were infused with mantras from the various homas. These waters now become purifying agents, protective agents as they carry the sacredness of the mantras in them. And finally, in an ancient rain shower, the waters of the Tamrabharani river Like a gentle waterfall, the big drops fall as urns of the water are poured. The water is pure. The Tamra Bharani is a perennial river that starts in the Podike hills of the western ghats. It is joined by rivers like the Ghatanam at Tirupude Maradur and then it flows majestically to the sea at Tutukudi. The water is so clear and pure that you can actually see the aquatic life in it. This great water has now been brought to Kanchipuram for His Holiness. Jai Jai Shankara, Hara Hara Shankara.